inside the amp's disc are a series of cylinders. This is where all data blocks are stored and there are thousands of these cylinders that just spin and spin and the amp using its master index knows exactly which cylinder to pull the data in from. Inside this cylinder there could be one block or there could be many blocks in here from one table or many different tables. Each one of these blocks is going to have a block header and trailer, a row reference array, the rows inside it, and you have a good understanding you're starting to see that data. But this is fascinating. Take a look at a top-down view of this disk. Look at all of the varying cylinders and notice that on the outside are the red cylinders and it moves to the blue and the yellow and the green and inside are the black cylinders. And they say, you know which cylinders are faster? I go, what difference does that make? And they go, well, with one spin of the disc, you've got a lot of red cylinders that you were able to read. You've only got a few black cylinders. So what Teradata does, which is ingenious, they track which tables are being queried the most and they give that a hot temperature. They track which tables are queried the least and that's going to get a cold temperature. So they got cold and medium and warm and hot and very hot. They put the data that is the hottest on the outside cylinders because those are the fastest and that's going to save you some time. What's a query band? A query band is a temperature. So you can actually run things and say I want this to be a hot temperature and that's how Teradata tracks what queries and sessions are going with the query band. As you can see here again we've got the hot data, the warm data, and the cold data and about 10 percent of the data will move per week transitioning itself to the proper temperature position. There will be cylinders for permanent data and there will be other cylinders for spool data and you will never see any cylinders that have some permanent data that are still empty used for spool. It doesn't work that way. Spool cylinders, permanent cylinders. As you can see here there's actually cylinders for perm space, spool space, temp space, any journaling that's going on at all and permanent journals so that you can have backups and restore. That's what's so clever about what Teradata is able to do here. They're very organized. They have the master index to know what data is in what cylinders and they can track this thing like it's got sonar. And that's the brilliance of the organization on these disks in these cylinders. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Do you have two different systems that hold your data? Our query tool, the Nexus, now lets you move data freely between them. Great for data movement and for joins, the Nexus is ready to help you cross boundaries. Visit coughingdw.com for more details.